Welcome to this video where we're going to go through some balance exercise progressions. Knowing these progressions um, is a pretty good idea uh, just to help uh, give you that little bit of variety in some of the exercises you do. Um, so there's many different ways that you can actually change and adapt the exercises. So good to know if you get a little bit bored or if you've done an exercise just for a, um, a long time and just want a little bit of a change, um, you can always change it up. My name's Claire, I'm a physiotherapist from PhysioFit Health. Subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can keep updated with our videos. With any balance exercises, I'd always suggest having a chair to hand, um, just so that you can hold on to it if you want to. Uh, you definitely need to make sure you feel nice and safe when you do any, any exercise. Before I go through the options, uh, you need to figure out really where you're starting from with the exercise. So um, when you're looking at balance, um, you can start on both legs, obviously. Now, the wider you have your legs, um, the more you're going to increase that base of support um, and the more balanced um, you will feel. So you, um, you'll feel fairly comfortable. So um, what you need to do is just bring these feet uh, closer together and see how you feel um, with your feet together um, or even go into your step standing position so heel to toe if you um, have heel to toe or feet close together you're like yeah I can do that 30 to 60 seconds really not a problem um, then I would increase the challenge um, and just get you to stand on one leg and see how you do are you able to stand on one leg and can you do 30 to 60 seconds if you need to, um, with either um, your, um, if you're on both feet or on that one leg balancing, um, if you need to, you can always hold on. So uh, please make sure you're nice and safe and comfortable. Um, so yeah, so once you can do 30 to 60 seconds in whichever stance um, that you have chosen, um, that's when you can go through these different options. Option one um, is probably the obvious one that um, you can hold on um, or not hold on. So obviously holding on, um, you're going to uh, feel a little bit more supported. Um, you can then progress to just light fingertip touch um, or you can um, take your hands off completely um, and see how you do. So that's going to make it just that little bit more challenging. Your option two um, is to add movement um, to what you're doing. Now, there are many different ways, many different options you can have to add this movement. Uh, as a suggestion, um, standing on one leg, if that's your chosen uh, exercise, uh, you can then um, do that when you're brushing your teeth. And so you add it into a daily activity um, and you're more likely to do it on a day-to-day -day basis. Other options um, include throwing and catching a ball against a wall, um, or um, in my Pilates classes um, I run, um, I actually get people to um, do uh, movement on the other leg. Um, so if you're standing on your right leg, you'd get your left foot behind the right knee um, and then you bring that knee out to the side and then bring it forwards. So it can be nice and simple um, and like I say, there's many different options within this option of um, getting the movement. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of variety out there. The third option you can choose, um, rather than getting the movement, as we've spoken about option two, um, you can actually um, try and distract your, your mind or your brain. So you can choose some kind of visualization. Now that can be anything from um, a past holiday you've been on, um, a nice place that you like to go to. Uh, think about the route um, that you will take to drive or walk um, just to your favorite place. Uh, you can do sums if you want to. Um, there's, uh, again, many options you can do, but it's just trying to take um, yeah, the, the brain and the mind away from what you're doing. Um, uh, that one's probably very good for those, those of you that um, if you um, focus just on one spot as you're doing the exercise and just really focusing and um, keeping the eyes and not moving, um, that's possibly a good one to, to tap into just to try and um, get the brain used to doing something else whilst you're balancing. Uh, the option four for you um, is the surface that you use. Now a flat surface is going to be a lot more stable than a cushion. So this is an air cushion, uh, it's got air in it, <laughs> obviously, um, but um, you can uh, use just a cushion at home. Um, and so getting that altered surface um, just to stand on is really going to increase that, that challenge for you. So the same exercise can be significantly changed uh, by standing on an air, air cushion. 
Uh, option five for you um, is for you guys that are super confident and happy to do this. Please do not do this if you're, if you're not happy at all. Um, you are standing on one leg or whichever um, exercise you've chosen to do. Um, and this is where you can shut your eyes. Um, so shutting your eyes takes away any visual cues you've got to stand up um, and can, like I say, make it super challenging. You may find you start needing to, to hold on. Um, but please, please, please just be nice and safe um, if you do try this at home in a you know, nice, safe area. Um, if you do want to try and practice um, shutting your eyes, it's a good idea to, um, if you're able to, um, to do this in front of a chair. Um, so the chair is behind you. Um, and so if you need to, then you can just sit down on the chair um, and you're nice and safe. But yeah, safety is key. Uh, but shutting your eyes will add that extra challenge if you wish to choose it. So those are your options that you can choose from. Um, if you are going to choose um, one of the options, I'd actually suggest just changing one thing um, rather than trying to add all the different options that we've gone through. Um, so just one, one at a time, uh, just so you can gauge it and get used to um, what you're doing. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel um, and please share this video if you know anyone that would benefit from it. And I'll see you soon.